Hi everyone, this is Jason Matthew from the We Can EduTech channel and today we're going to be looking at how we can add sections to a PowerPoint presentation. In this example, I've created a presentation on cells. It's a demo presentation, so it has placeholder text and stock images. So let's go through the presentation together. So we have a title slide to start the presentation and then we go through with the introduction and after the introduction, I start talking about animal cells and then we go into plant cells. There's a summary. And after the summary, there's a quiz. And that's basically the presentation. Now, in this video, we're going to be creating those sections in the presentation. And it will look something like this. So you see there are the five sections there present. Introduction, animal cell, plant cell, summary, and quiz. And if you look, there's a number by the name of each section. So for instance, that four means the number of slides in that section. Similarly, there are five slides in the animal cell section and so on. Now, if you click on the drop down arrow, you see the four slides that make up the introduction. And you can also collapse it again so you can see that high level section. So it looks like a kind of table of contents, if you will. And if we go into slide sort of view, you see the sections there as well. So it's a great organizational tool. It doesn't affect the way in which you use PowerPoint. So you'll be adding and deleting and doing all the other functions just like how you would normally will. It doesn't affect the slideshow as well. It's just to help you organize better. And so now we're gonna spend some time going through exactly how we add these sections. So I'm back on the original presentation. I have not added any sections yet. Now as with anything else in PowerPoint, there are a few different ways in which we can do the same thing. So the first one we're going to look at is looking at the main ribbon and using the main ribbon to add sections. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the home ribbon. So you see how I see that, see the home is underlined. I know it's on the home ribbon. And then I select the first slide that I want that section to be in. So in this case, it's the introduction section I'm going to start off with. So I'm going to start with a title slide. So I select the title slide thumbnail on the left there. So I click on it and then I go to the home ribbon and this is the icon here to add sections. Hopefully you are on full screen on your monitor and you can actually see the word section next to that icon. So I click on the drop down arrow next to it and I click add section. So it comes up as untitled section and it's highlighted. So that means I can edit it. So I'm going to edit it as introduction. And once I type in the word introduction, I click enter or return on the keyboard. And there we have the first section. Now the second section I want to make is for animal cells. So again, you click the first slide that you want to start off that animal cell section. So in this case, it will be slide five. So I select slide five by clicking on slide five. And then I right click on slide five and I choose the option add section. And again, you see untitled section and there I'll type in animal cell, click enter or return on the keyboard to register it. And there I have the second section. So I am adding sections in the normal view, but you could also add it in a slide sort of view. So let's go to the slide sort of view. So those are the four grid blocks there at the bottom. I click on that. And now I'm in the slide sort of view. So I scroll down a bit. I'm going to go to plant cells with plant cells starting. And I could actually just right click in that space between the slide before plant cell and that slide that starts with a plant cell. I can right click in that space in there and I get the option to add section. And similarly as before, I just type in plant cell and I click return. And just like when we were in the normal view, I just select the first slide that I want to be in a section, the next section being summary section. So the first slide in the summary slides are this one. I click on it. I can go to the home ribbon, click on the drop down arrow next to section there and click add section. And I just type in summary, enter return on the keyboard. And there you go. And finally, for the quiz section, this was the first slide, slide 18. 
I click on sl slide 18, that starts the quiz. I can right click on that slide, choose add section, and I type in quiz. And there you go. We now have all five sections. Now if I right click on a section's name, I have a following options. I can rename the section, I can remove a section, I can remove section and slides, or I can remove all sections. Let's see how that works. So the first one I'm gonna click on is rename section. So you see it's highlighted there and I can, let's say I wanted to call it intro instead of introduction. I type in intro and I enter or return on the keyboard. And there you go, it's now renamed. Let me zoom out a bit. So I use the slider so we can see some more sections there. So now I'm seeing at least three of them. Let's right click on the intro section again and let's choose collapse all. So again, I can see the, that high level look at all these sections. It's like a table of contents. And if I wanted, I can expand all by right clicking on any one of those sections and just choose an expand all. I'm gonna right click on the animal cell section. So I'm, I'm right clicking on the name and we already renamed it. I can remove section. So if I remove section, all I'm doing is I'm going to remove the name animal cell. I'm not removing any slides. So you're gonna have all the slides still there. So it's gonna have all 21 slides. So if I click on remove section, you see now it goes from intro to plant cell. The animal slide, cell slides have now been incorporated into the intro section. So I'm going to undo that by clicking the undo button. And there it comes back. If I right click the animal section name again, remove section and slides. Now this one will not only remove the name of the section, it will also remove and delete all the slides in that section. So please proceed with caution. So that means that when I choose this option, we remove section and slides, it's actually going to remove slides five to nine. So let's see that in action. So look at what happens when I choose that option. Remember, we have 21 slides in this deck right now. When I choose remove section and slides, it's going to remove the name animal cell, but it's also going to remove those five slides, slides five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's gonna remove those slides from the deck. So let's choose that option. You see the animal cell section is gone. And if you look at the number of slides we have now, it went from 21 slides to 16 slides. So again, I'm gonna click the undo arrow there, bring it back. And one of the things I like that can be done easily is moving slides around or moving sections around. To show that, I'm going to collapse all. So I'm going to right click on any section I choose to on intro section and I choose collapse all. And let's say I change my mind. I don't want to go in the order of intro animal cell, plant cell. I actually want to teach plant cells before animal cells. All I do is I click and hold the plant cell section, click, hold, and drag until it goes above animal cell and you see that solid line so it indicates it's going to be moved there and then i release and now plant cells are before animal cells so adding sections to powerpoint could be very useful in terms of you organizing your slides in powerpoint but it has other beneficial uses as well for instance if you're working on a presentation as a team and let's say there are about four of you all and each one of you all are working on a different component of that presentation then normally what will happen is that you'll be working on a powerpoint that is shared in your onedrive amongst those four people and everybody will be adding slides and it could get a little chaotic. But if you create sections and each section that person is responsible for, so you could put their names like Jason and Ethan and Christy and so on. And then when they go into that section, they add their slides. It doesn't get mixed up with anybody else's slides. So it's a great collaborative tool as well. Or in a situation where there are two or more presenters, you could section off the presentation based on the presenter. So in the next video, I will show you how we could use sections and another tool in PowerPoint to create some really interesting, non-linear, interactive presentations. But that's for the next video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for the support. Bye for now. Talk to you soon.